Now, some news from St. Pat's this week, and 21-year-old defender Luke McNally has signed for League One side Oxford United. Luke was the St. Pat's Young Player of the Year last season, played every minute of every league game, having joined St. Pat's under-19s initially in 2017. He, of course, had a very successful loan at Drogheda in 2019 and made his real senior breakthrough in the Premier Division last year. And that's earned him a move to the UK and League One in Oxford United. And Luke joins me now on Zoom from his hotel. How are you? Hey, Jamie. How are things? Very good. Thanks yourself. Yeah, all good. All good. Firstly, big smile on your face. Massive congratulations from everybody at St. Pat's and I'm sure the wider League of Ireland community. How does it feel to be an Oxford United player? Yeah, no, it's brilliant. Um, I think it's it's probably every kid's dream to, to make it across the water eventually. So um, my chance came there during the during the January transfer window and I, and I, and I took it. So I'm, I'm very happy to be at Oxford. It's a great chance for me to play um, hopefully and uh, try and implement myself here, yeah. Talk me through how the last few days have been because it's certainly been quite strange having to go and sign for a club in a different country in the middle of everything that's going on in the world. Yeah, it's very strange. Uh, it's been a mad, probably mad couple of weeks, I suppose, um, trying to sort it all out. But uh, yeah, the pandemic is obviously, it's obviously evident here as well. Um, you can see how the effect it had on everyone in Ireland and it's no different here if anything, it's stricter probably. So um, no, it's still, this, uh, it's still really exciting to be here and stuff. And uh, um, yeah, it doesn't change much to be honest with COVID or no COVID. I'm still delighted to be, delighted to be here, you know. How does it feel to have actually signed for a professional club in England? Because I know when you were a kid growing up, this would have been something you would have said is always your dream and you've achieved part one of it. Yeah, it's it's mad really. Uh, it's been a long, I suppose, a long journey. Like when you think back of all the all the teams you would have played for when you're a kid, you kind of think, Jesus, like it, I'm still going here and I've, and I've made it to England. So it's obviously very proud and um, I'm lucky. I have good friends and family who support me the whole way. So um, little bumps on the road, they help me out and um, thankfully I'm here now so I'm really happy yeah. What have you learned so far about your new club and the city that you live in because you've had to fly over you've had to do your Covid test do your medical and you'll be getting into training now in the next couple of days but you've had a chance to to maybe just get to know some people and see what it's going to be like. Yeah yeah getting familiar with a new area is important um, all the people at the club have been really nice like uh, for, that's one of the reasons I signed I, I knew going in that they had a great reputation, the staff and the players and stuff. So uh, from going in, they've been really kind to me. Everyone's come up and said hello and stuff. So that's all you can ask really of, of anyone on your first uh, your first couple of days. So um, the area seems really nice as well. Um, my family are friends here actually. So like we, we know a couple of people. So it's it's uh, it's nice to have them as well. Like you, you, end up, uh, you end up settling in a bit easier. So it's good to have them, yeah. We'll talk more about Oxford and, and League One and your hopes for England in a moment, Luke. But if I was to ask you to sum up your time at St. Pat's since you signed for the under-19s initially in 2017, what would you say? Yeah, no, it's been brilliant. Um, I've, I've genuinely enjoyed it all. Like it's uh, Last year was difficult. I think um, at stages of the season, we, we weren't doing too well. In other stages, we looked really good. So it's... Uh, Last year was up and down, um, and then I was delighted to, to sign my first professional deal um, before all that. Um, working hard in the academy for, for two seasons was brilliant as well. Like, um, that, really, that really probably kicked me on in my, in my football, really, because I would have came from Jad under-17s at the time and um, probably just had a lot to learn, a lot to, um, a lot to get better at quickly, and, and that probably... That, that helped me out with the St. Pat's Academy, really, to be honest. I think that was the, the turning point for me. Um, it made me take football a lot more seriously, I suppose, and um, that, that definitely had a big, uh, sorry, a big impact on, uh, on, on today, even. So, overall, a brilliant time and great people there. So, I only have good memories, really, yeah. Yeah, we have to mention your season back with Drada, the Drada First Division team, the senior team in 2019, a journey that... Brought you all the way to the first division playoffs and I think you started almost every game there. You scored some brilliant goals under Tim Clancy and that was your first proper full season in men's football and I know that set you up really well for what was a good season for you personally last year for St. Pat's. Yeah, the brilliant yeah, brilliant time at Drogheda. Um, seems like years ago now, funny enough, um, with everything that's gone on. Seems like a really long time ago, but um, yeah, no, I had a brilliant time there and Tim was brilliant to me. He set me up lovely really and taught me a lot. 
taught me a lot about the about the game, but more so just the winning the winning mentality, sort of just going out and, and winning a game game not mattering how you play sometimes and just being a good defender he's always that to me so um no Jada Jada was brilliant and, and I used to play for Jada obviously before I went to Pat's Academy so they obviously brought me on well as well uh, when I was an academy player so um yeah they, they had a big impact on my development as well. If we talk about 2020 Luke and I'm sure the people at your new club the manager Carl Robinson and coaches and scouts will have watched a lot of your videos from the last year you know, to have played every minute of every league game, albeit it was a shortened league season with just 18 games for St. Pat's. But, you know, as a 20, 21-year-old, to have done that, to be named the club's young player of the year and to have got that experience in the Premier Division in Ireland in a St. Pat's team with lots of very, very good players, um, I'm sure that has helped you very, very much so in terms of getting you ready for the next step now in England and just to have played so many senior games in the top league here, you know, consistently every week, I suppose. Yeah, it's something I, I knew I probably had to do. Um, it's something that young players probably don't get enough of. Sometimes it's just going out there and getting like going on your loan spell and uh, learning as much as you can. And and it set me up nicely for last season, and um, to get as many games as I could. And I was lucky I had a manager who trusted me as well. Stephen was great with me, and um, he always he always kept faith in me. So, um, I thank him for that uh, and all the all the experience I got along the way. Definitely has a big impact. There's a lot of games over here in England, and like you're in the forties in the league in the league season. Like it's it's a lot of football matches. So to have that consistency is probably something they look for as well. So it's nice to know that I've always been there. You know, I haven't missed one a game in my professional career, so called. So uh, it's good to have that consistency. Yeah, it's important. Luke, away from the pitch, St. Pat's Academy and the first team are very much in the mindset of encouraging players to pursue their education if they can and if it's what they want to do along with their football. That's something you've done. That's something you'll continue to do along with your football in England up until May. You might just tell people watching and listening about your education, what you've studied, where you've studied it and the importance of that to you for your future life away from football. Um, yeah, when I, when I finished up under 19s, um, I was lucky there's a, there was a scholarship program at Pats at the time and there still is. So it's just great to see uh, there's still young players going in and out there. So, uh, I was I was the same. I, I jumped at the opportunity. It got me got my uh, got my first two years of my degree under my belt, and I'm in the middle of my third now. So um, it's great to have something like that there. It's definitely a good help. They get you extra points and stuff for for your lead and certain stuff because um, they realise the commitment that you do do. Because when I was doing my leaving sir, I was going straight from school straight to training. So I think it's only fair. <laughs> Maybe that's when you when you have someone committing to another career that you do get those points maybe just to help you out along the way so um I'm delighted to have it I'm I'm only uh when am I finishing now probably May probably May time I'll be finishing my my degree really so that'd be great to get as well be give me a good start in life really so um I'm committed to committed to just finishing that out yeah Luke is studying international business in Minute and he will combine that from a distance with his professional football career now at Oxford Luke, what would you like to say to the St. Pat supporters, fans, and the people at the club in general? Um, obviously, I'd love to thank them and um, encourage them to keep keep going and supporting, obviously. And um, I'll be one of them now, obviously supporting St. Pat's. But um, it's a pity, really, that I, I didn't get to I didn't get to play in Richmond Park on Derby Day or uh, when there was like big crowds and stuff. That was uh, something I really loved. I even, from playing at Drada when the crowds are there, I felt like I, I'd much prefer nearly playing in front of a big crowd. And that night against Waterford and Cork, um, was brilliant to see like the amount of fans that were in Richmond, and it does drive you on. And so hopefully then then people can back get back into the, get back into the stands this year. And obviously my main message is to thank them and thank everyone at the club. Um, they've been nothing but good to me. So uh, thanks to them. Yes, everybody at the St. Pat's is very proud of you, of course, as well. And Luke, we'll finish on Oxford, 11th in League One, I think six points off the playoffs, a number of wins in a row. Was it six wins in a row or something along those lines? So you're joining a club who are on the up at the moment. Um, what's your, I suppose, hopes and expectations? And I'm sure like every other footballer, you'll be trying to compete to play in the team as often as you can. Yeah, that's it. It, it doesn't change. Football is the same. You go into, you go into any team and, and you give... You give whoever's in your position a good a good run for their money, so it'll be no different. And uh, yeah, as you say, Oxford are going well. They have a, a great manager here, and um, they have a good good couple of wins in a row uh, recently. So 
uh, they obviously got to the playoff final last year as well in 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 Wembley and and uh, just came up short. So it'd be lovely to see them go and better, and and hopefully I can be a part of that. Yeah, it'd be brilliant. And lastly, life off the pitch, you'll be moving to live in England away from home for the first time properly. I know you would have done a little bit of, uh, you know, staying in, in college and that as well. Um, and I'm not ashamed to say I've watched all the Harry Potter movies during lockdown. And I learned today doing some research that a lot of the Harry Potter movies were shot in Oxford. There's loads of places there that have actually been used to make the Harry Potter movies. And I know you've been able to, to have a look from a distance at where you're going to live. So are you excited about going to live in a new country and, and you know, learn to cooking clean and all the bits and bobs that you have to do now as, as someone living away from his mommy and daddy? Yeah, 100%. Uh, that doesn't, so I didn't know that about Harry Potter, to be honest, but it doesn't surprise me. I went for a walk there. Went for a walk there the other day. And uh, yeah, that doesn't surprise me. It's a brilliant, a brilliant college there. Um, nothing like Manute, to be fair to him, but it's, uh, nah, it's brilliant. And um, they seem like good people. And that's the main thing, really. Um, good facilities and that, but the people seem good. So uh, yeah, no, really excited to, to start a new life here, yeah. Great stuff. Well, Luke McNally, well done again. Congratulations for everybody at St. Pat's. The very best of luck at Oxford. We'll be watching you with interest over the next couple of years, and I'm sure you'll be uh, looking back the same way at St. Pat's. The best of luck, and we'll chat to you soon. Cheers, Jamie. Thanks very much. Thank you.